Hello user, I am Lodovico Bruno and this is Warfish 3D. First of all, I want to remember that we have a website here, warfish3d.com, where you can find all these tutorials and a quick guide that is basically a manual of we are, what we are explaining in the tutorials. But also you can find services about and features and also a donation button to donate for the software maintenance. In this tutorial we are going to discover the balance component uh, starting from the previous tutorial um, components and features. So we are going to quickly, quickly set up a Swordfish R from our component here that gives immediately an alpha to to use we can close the hull with the close hull component or I remember you you can build the Swordfish hull object also importing a new hull from here B wrap we can set one B wrap and connect it to this component Okay, now we have our Swordfish Hull, I will delete this one, and we can, first of all, run an hydrostatic component and get a quick preview of the result, as we have seen in the previous tutorial. And now we are almost ready to run the first balance of this Hull. So the balance component is here in the hydrostatic section and needs three, three uh, input. One is our superficial object here. The second one is the center of gravity and we can set manually center of gravity with the point import object. Let me here. Okay. And then we need the volume. Okay, so um, let's suppose that we want to keep this volume that we have designed here because we like it, we, we want to have this displacement. So we can extract the volume properties from the Swordfish Hall with the SF get property. So double click, volume, vol as is written here the second one is vol okay i can extract the value in millimeters and i can plug it in okay so now the the balance component is working but we need the run toggle set to true because by default is false okay so toggle And now, if I press true, we can see that something is happening. The, the, the Swordfish balance component is working, and we can see also with the panel a quick report of, of what's happening. So we have a, a starting scenario where we have a given center of gravity, that is this point here. And then we have a target volume and a starting volume that are equal because we have set as a target volume our original volume. So they are equivalent. And the tolerance that we can set from here by default is uh, this 0 0.001 and the tolerance of the distance between the center of gravity and the center of buoyancy. Because what's happening here? We had three iterations to to balance this this object and we can see the difference from the starting object with the hydro preview component that we have seen also in the previous tutorial here. Okay. What happened? The, 
the bow goes down and we have a new object oriented on the plane. Let me hide this and we can see that let me show the original B wrap. Okay. We can see that the new B wrap has a different balancing. And the center of gravity and the center of buoyancy are perf perfectly aligned, uh, staying in this tolerance. This is gonna work also because if I move the center of gravity, either port or starboard side, okay. So let's go back. No. Let's go back here. Here. And now we can extract also new features from our superficial balanced object. Okay, so we can copy this block, connect to the new superficial, and for example, extract the trim value here. Now is in radians. So in degrees, I can convert it and have the degree of the trim or also the heel value. It is zero because the center of gravity is aligned. So if we let me move the... Okay, okay we have seven degrees of hill and now how can we play with this component for example I want to see my my object my heart uh, at different levels of volume and at different different uh, displacement for example so let me set again the center of gravity oh wow okay perfect um, for example I want to see from the original volume a little bit more and a little bit less than this volume so I can multiply let me do it quickly multiply by 0 0.9 Zero point. Uh, no, let's use a multiline data. Zero point nine, one and one point one. Right click multiline data. I can have a list of value here. So if I multiply this volume for a list of value, I can obtain the different values that I want to to have. And I can set as a, a target volume, not my original volume, but also uh, the 90% of that value, the 100%, so my original value, and the 10% more. So I can connect these values, and my component is running is running uh, three times, so I have three different reports with different values and I have also three different superficial objects now I can cancel this one okay delete this one and I have three different objects to diff to three different displacement also if I try to get the displacement value here I have the displacement the trim for example ah uh, wait sorry the displacement is not from radians to degree or maybe I want to to know
sorry. Okay. And maybe I want to know what's happening. Okay. What's happening with uh, three different center of gravity? So I can set multiple points. One, two, three, four. Okay. And as with multiple volumes, I can have different orientation of my hull that is balanced uh, for each of the gravity point here. Thank you for watching. In the next tutorial, we are going to understand to, to see our stability component that is working only after this balancing.